Welcome to an example on how to subtract fractions with unlike denominators. The main thing to remember is that when we add or subtract fractions, we must have a common denominator. The reason we need a common denominator is so that we add or subtract parts or pieces of the same size. To subtract fractions, once we have a common denominator, the denominator stays the same, and we subtract the numerators. So here we're given 4 fifteenths minus 2 21st. One way to find a common denominator is to find the product of the denominators. So 15 times 21 would give us a common denominator, but because that's rather large, let's work on determining the smallest possible common denominator called the least common denominator. The least common denominator is the least common multiple of 15 and 21, which is also the smallest number that's divisible by both 15 and 21. For this example, though, let's build the least common denominator using the prime factorization of 15 and 21. So because the prime factorization of 15 is 3 times 5, let's write 4 fifteenths as 4 over 3 times 5. And because the prime factorization of 21 is 3 times 7, let's write 2 over 21 as 2 over 3 times 7. Now from here, if our denominators contain the same prime factors, we'll have a common denominator. Looking at this first denominator, notice how it does not contain the prime factor of 7, but it needs the prime factor of 7 if we're going to have a common denominator. So to create an equivalent fraction, we'll multiply the numerator and denominator by 7. Now notice all of the prime factors of this denominator are in this denominator. Now looking at the second denominator, notice how it does not contain a factor of 5, and therefore to create an equivalent fraction that has a factor of 5 in the denominator, and therefore we'll multiply this numerator and denominator by 5. Notice now both denominators contain the same prime factors, and we have a common denominator. And this common denominator is also the least common denominator. So now let's find these products to determine the equivalent fractions. So the numerator is 4 times a, which is 28. The denominator is 3 times 5 times 7, which equals 105. So 4 fifteenths is equivalent to this fraction. And 2 21st is equivalent to 10 over 105. And now that we have a common denominator, we can subtract the fractions. The denominator stays the same. And the numerator is 28 minus 10, which equals 18. So while this is the difference, this fraction does simplify. Both 18 and 105 share a common factor of 3. There are a couple ways to show the simplifying. If we want to see the common factor, we can write 18 as 3 times 6. 105 is equal to 3 times 35. And 3 over 3 is equal to 3 divided by 3, or 3 thirds, which simplifies to 1. And so the simplified difference is 6 35ths. Another way to show the simplifying would be to just divide the numerator and denominator by 3. 18 divided by 3 is equal to 6. 105 divided by 3 is equal to 35. Either way, the difference is 6 35ths. I hope you found this helpful.